And welcome back, everybody, to more of some Pirate Doom. Oh boy, Shimmer Me Timbers, we are going to be playing some more of this. <laughs> um, like I said, this is going to be a, a part two coming up here, so we have to go to load game. And we have to find where we left off. Yeah, here we go. At the... Treasure Cove. Now, there is a couple of things I do want to say before we, like, officially get started here. And that is, yes, I am now able to look around. Uh, mouse look has been enabled because, um, uh, in the text file that came with the, uh, the WAD file, it did say I was able to use mouse look. So I did enable that, and I also enabled the little um, crosshair that you see right here. Jumping, it did not say anything about it, so I just left it off. And also what I'm going to try and do in this particular level, and in all corresponding levels, is I'm going to try and use the map to my advantage to try and find as many of the secrets as possible, so that's what we'll try for. Another thing I want to say is I may eventually have to mute the music completely in maybe some of the maps. Because some of the maps have literal music files that come with them. And by music files, I mean exactly that. I mean, they it, it, it's the music files themselves. It's not a MIDI. It's like the MP3 version of real-life songs. Like, uh, I think it was told to me that there's going to be an ACDC song, Highway to Hell playing, so I will be muting that to avoid any potential copyright strikes. Anyways, enough talking about the technicalities of this game. Let's get to playing. So, yeah, those armor bonuses that I grabbed, I think they're bucklers. Like, I'm, I'm guessing for, like, your belt or something? Could be wrong. Let's see what's on this side. Get more tasty rum. The amount of alcohol that is consumed in this wad is just outstanding. Oh, a switch. Oh, it raises up something. Goodbye and goodbye to all your hats. They are gone. X marks the spot. Okay. Ouch! That kind of hurt. So the question is, we have to be on the lookout for an X? Or what? Is that an X? I don't think so. I will take the rum, though. Rum is tasty. Where has all the rum gone? Pirate Doom Guy must ask. Did we fall down? Maybe I can jump in this dark, bottomless hole later. Now, I don't know about that drunk Doom guy. I would not want to fall down a bottomless hole. Uh, you may be a little bit drunk. Shiver me timbers! I like these guys when they... Like, they have a different type of speech when they, like, get hurt and when they get notified of your presence. They don't just grunt and growl like they did in the original Doom. They actually do say things. Let's use the sword. We haven't seen much love for that weapon. Oh boy. We're on, like, a, uh... I don't know, like a minecart uh, track, it looks like. 
Yes, you got jibbed. And more shotgun shells and more bucklers. Oh my goodness, look at this. They're pirate lost souls. These guys are kind of cute, actually. It's still annoying as hell, but kind of cute. Eh. Uh, still just as annoying. But like I said, just a little bit cute. Oh, yes. Oh, he didn't die. He's stuck. Well... <laughs> oh, now that was a little bit awesome. This wad is just full of just awesome little things. Like this bridge to walk underneath it in a Doom wad would have been unheard of in vanilla style Doom. I mean, I, I, I know there's a bridge in Scythe that you can walk under, and uh, you can play that, I assume, in a vanilla style, so that is pretty good map making, but, uh... But, uh, in uh, GZ Doom and in the total conversion, I suppose you can actually walk underneath a bridge, because, uh, for those of you who might not know... Oh, we have a map! but doesn't show where any of the secrets are because I even have that turned on. I made sure to turn it on. Um, well, let's... Okay, here's where all the secrets are. But I'm not even sure where... Um, you know what, it won't take that long. Let's go back to where we... or near where we started this map, and we're just... Oh, good thing I went back. I see beer. It's really cool. And like the, uh... I don't know, these like palm trees or something? I don't think so, but my knowledge of tree breeds are quite limited. Uh, looks like there's a big secret area near here. Yes. here, I guess. Could be wrong. And it looks like I am a bit wrong here, but... No, I'm not wrong! Oh my gosh! Uh, let's use the shotgun. That's awesome. When the imps die, I think they have, like, a slightly different animation, which is kind of cool, too. Gosh, that really hurt, those demons. Man, the eye patches are... and the little cute blue plant... blue pants... are quite cute-looking. Waterfall. Oh, neat! Neato! Oh, there we go. I didn't jump, by the way. I didn't press a jump button. It just automatically puts you up here. I know it's kind of dark. It's dark on my screen. I'm not sure how dark it would be on yours. Oh, now that is an ultimate treasure item. The supercharge in a treasure chest. Glad I went back. Those are nice items to have. It's a nicely designed area. Okay, where to now? Well, it looks like there's nothing much for a while. So, there is an armor up there. And I would enjoy getting it, but these bucklers should keep me going for a while. More shotgun shells. X marks the spot again. Well, we may have to keep an eye out for that. In the meantime... Whoa. We are raising up, and we have lost souls coming out of the pipe. 
That's kind of cute. <laughs> they can't charge at me because they hit the bridge. Come on. I know, I have a pretty face. You guys want to eat it off of my face. Which would not be a good thing, but, uh... Oh, the red key is mine! So... Oh my gosh! I guess, Doom Guy, you're gonna have... Oh, wait a minute. Wait just a minute! Nope. Uh, there's an invisible barrier here that stopped me, so... But maybe... Hmm. I am not sure how one is supposed to get inside there, but I see more demons. Let's use our, uh... Sword. Doesn't use any ammo, and it's always cool to see in use. Uh, yes. Yeah, the Lost Souls came out of this here pipe. Oh, okay. I see now. I would like... I'm assuming this is the armor. Which I think it said... Yeah, picked up the armor. And I'm assuming what's inside here is a mega armor, but I'm not sure how one is supposed to drop inside there. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not going to worry about it too much. Uh, if I could get inside, that would be nice, but... Okay. Oh, the red door automatically opens up. Okay. Interesting. This is a beautiful area. I would not mind vacationing here and just relaxing on this here rock. Oh, gosh. My goodness. It's, uh, getting a little bit tricky here. I mean, the surprises is what's starting to get me. Well, that's kind of cute. A torch! Oh, this is cool! We can now explore the dark canyon with a torch. That is actually quite useful. And that was a secret area too, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Sweetness. Oh, more enemies over on the other side. Well, let's snipe them off. This is how I always play my games. I like to snipe off enemies ahead of time. That way, I don't have to deal with them later on. Oh, that's spinach. A secret is revealed. Now this, I think last time I picked this up, and it worked like... Yeah, he swings his sword just so much faster. And it works, I think, like a Berserk Pack, maybe. Gotta love the uh, Popeye reference, I guess. Popeye the Sailor Man. Can I get inside there? I'm not jumping, by the way. It's just making me look like I'm jumping. Something... Shot. Oh, through the waterfall. It's magical. More bucklers. That's a lot of bucklers. I wonder exactly how Pirate Doom Guy would use a buckler to gain armor. Does he just have like a hundred bucklers on his belt and that just provides a hundred percent more armor? Well, I know protecting his family jewels is probably a very high priority to him, because a pirate does enjoy his women. So, maybe it does work that way. Sort of like a... P 
patented old-time pirate chastity belt. Whoop. Take me back up. <laughs> you know, I guess the chastity belt, it just requires so many bucklers. But it works. Another X marks the spot. These may be the X's. And it's just pointing towards more rum, which I don't need, so... Okay, well, there's a secret coming up later on. This is a cool area. I'm assuming, because this is Doom, that the slime is going to damage me. Let's stick our feet inside here and find out. Yes, it does. Get out of there, please. Uh, but I can see underneath here, so either one of two things has to happen. Or is that the reflection? I think it's the reflection, to be honest with you. I was going to say, either one of two things has to happen. This needs to be drained, or we must find a pirate radiation suit. But it looks like these are just reflections. So. Yes, I will risk the damage of singeing my feet for a few beers. A pirate's life is for me. Oh boy. It's a switch. And the secret is going to be right over here, we thinks. Get out of the poison. Something splashed down there. Or does it just occasionally splash? I'm not sure. But there's a secret area near here, I guess. Yeah, it's like right behind this wall, or it could be even in that little area, so... Not entirely sure. Well, that's a big, uh... X. It looks like a bunch of, uh, like, uh, wrenches as well. That's kind of cool. Another X marks the spot. Is that like gold, or is that like... Uh, lava? I'm assuming it's gold. Because it shines like gold. Oh, pretty gold. Gold. We love the gold. Yeah, this is kind of cool. You can walk on the bridge. Oh! Okay. Me see how this works. Oh! Oh, gosh. There we go. I almost fell off. Oh! Thank you! I was thinking to myself, I gotta walk all the way back now, but it's worth it, but hey! Thank you, my good man. You served Pirate Doom very well. You shall be rewarded. I shall be back with uh, two women for you. How does that sound? <laughs> If I can find two women, that is. I, women are hard to come by right now in this particular wad. Another treasure chest, but it's already opened, it looks like. So, Not sure. Oh, well, there's two of them, actually. Yeah, maybe just there for decorations. Well, we got three more secrets to find, but... We'll keep on going and see what there is to see. I'm going to get my shotgun ready because it looks like this is a wide open area and things could get ugly. Yellow key is mine. I just walked right into one of those things. More lag. 
I'm to figure out some way to fix that. I remember on my super old computer, uh, the computer that I had even before my old one. <laughs> I've gone through so many computers. Uh, it used to do that. It'd just be a period of just two seconds where it would just go, you know, chop, 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 and then it would be fine. Um, most specifically in Final Doom Plutonia and in Half-Life. I don't know why it would do that, but... Oh! Blue Skull. Um, if you guys know why there's lag, I've done nothing to... This computer that I have right now, there is no reason for any lag whatsoever. Zero reason. So it it must be a setting on my end, or something. Anyways, let's... I don't feel like swimming. I hate water. Well, you and me both. I mean, I like sailing on the water. Don't get me wrong, I like fishing, I like going out on a boat, but if I'm expected to jump in the water and be expected to swim, uh, count me out. I don't like the water whatsoever. Game saved. Okay, I don't, I didn't press anything to make it save, but maybe it thinks I should save because it may get tough. This is bright. Oh my gosh. I'm playing without the lights on in my room, so it, it's just extra bright, which is kind of cool. Um, let's see. Here's a door. Okay, no more secrets. At least, maybe not for just a little bit. shotgun shells, and the blue key. So, if we remember the blue skull uh, switch. What's this sticking out? Oh! Okay, then. Uh, something's happening. Something's rumbling, and we see some switches poking out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What? Um, I'm gonna save here. I'm not gonna over-save the auto-save, because I might have to come back to this. But something is nasty is going on. Switch. 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 Whew. I saw the ceiling coming down and I was panicking because I do not want to get squished. But thankfully this opened up, so... Whew. Dodged a bullet there. That was a lot of beer. And like I said, this is this is really cool. Not sure what this is supposed to be. It looks like an iron cross symbol, almost. I don't know. Is this the... Yeah, the, I think the red lines indicate the exit, so... He can't fit between the bars. And he doesn't like to swim. Um... Let's go back through the yellow door. And... Can I access those tracks from here? I don't... I think so. No, I can't. So, what I'm gonna have to do, I think, I just wanna see if I can get to the sec secrets, maybe over here. Aha! Yes! The secret is revealed with just one little beer inside. And then. Well... Oh, maybe... Oh my goodness! Look, folks. I'm gonna save. I don't have to have to keep doing this over and over again, so... Yeah. 
Why is it so slow to load? That's kind of bizarre. Wonder. Yes! Oh my goodness! There's one enemy left in this particular map. And whoever that is, I will demonstrate this weapon on. Ooh, give me that clip. Bullets. Um... Gosh, I'm missing one secret, but... Looks good enough to me. I guess we'll demonstrate the next kill... Uh, in the next... Oh, not next kill. I guess we'll demonstrate the super shotgun in the next video. So... We're gonna be taking this boat and sailing off into the deep blue sea. Uh, this was Treasure Cove. Ooh, that was fun. A lot of fun. 99%, 99%, 87%. Like I said, I won't be going for 100% if I can't find how to get to a secret area right off the bat. I'm not gonna spend too much time trying to get it. Uh, that's not really the purpose of this. The purpose of this is just to go through and just see how awesome these maps are, so... Um, what's the next map called? Oh, this sunken ghost ship. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of Derelict from Duke Nukem 3D, except I think I'm gonna like this one a lot more. Uh, something tells me. Don't know what is telling me, I just know from the design of this wad so far, this is just excellent. So, uh, we shall see what happens in the next video, so... Probably shouldn't have oversaved Pirate Doom to start out with, <laughs> just in case this recording goes, you know, goes wrong somehow, and I have to re-record it, but, uh... uh thankfully... Yeah, thankfully there is an autosave where I can just get back to where I was, so... I guess... No need to panic right there. Okay, guys, well, thank you for watching, and I shall see you guys in Part 3, which will be Level 4. I probably should have done these only in level parts, because from what I've been told, these levels get quite long, so... Well, we shall see what happens next time, so... Uh, take care, everybody, and I shall see you guys then. I'm Big Mac Davis here, as usual. See you guys.